Um, so today's video isn't going to be a fun or educational video um, by any means. In fact, it's to, if you can't tell from the title already, touch base on um, one of my animals passing. And if you can't hear me very well, it's because the dishwasher's going and I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out and tell you guys and be honest with you guys because I don't want to be one of those pet YouTubers who hides whenever my animals are sick or pass away. Um, I did wait a couple of days to film this just because I wanted to try and research and figure out what could have happened. No, I didn't go take this animal to get an autopsy um, just because nowhere around here is is doing that for quite some time. Um, the closest and soonest I could get an autopsy done was two weeks from now and I was not going to keep said animal in my fridge or my freezer for um, two weeks. So um, yeah, I'm going to talk about it with you guys and just be honest. So let's get into it. Okay, so I... <sighs> I haven't lost any of my um, animals before. I, you know, we had a cat pass away. Um, she was like 15 years old though when she passed, so she was rather old and natural occurrences like that happen with older animals. Um, I know eventually whenever my other animals age, they're gonna pass away as well. But the animal of mine that passed this time was Speck. And you guys may remember Speck, um, I've only talked about him and my other frogs one time. Speck is one of my, well, was one of my three clown tree frogs that I had. Um, and they were relatively new. Like, I got them back in, um, at the, at the Animal Expo in March. So they, they were relatively new. And I have not kept clown tree frogs before, but I, um... I think I'm doing everything right because my other two frogs are doing great. They have no issues. They they seem to be doing fine. They're eating. They're not excessively soaking in their water. Um, humidity levels are good. Temperature range is good every time I check it. So not really sure um, what happened. Anyway, I didn't notice anything wrong with Speck. I know I hadn't seen him for a couple of days. Um, meaning like every time I looked in the tank he was hiding, but that's normal because they're nocturnal and I normally don't see them all anyway. Um, and at night I'll check the enclosure most nights and I hadn't seen him out. So, uh, that's annoying. Okay, I stopped the dishwasher because that was annoying. Anyway, so I hadn't seen Speck out. I saw Spotty and Dotty out. Um, they were always a lot bigger than Speck was, so... I don't know if this had to play in with that or what, but that was one thing I noticed right off the bat whenever I first got them. Anyway, no problems with any of them um, up until this point. And I hadn't seen him out, and then on the 27th, I went to go, you know, do my normal water, changing out their water, and um, misting the enclosure, making sure everything's fine. And he was in his water bowl sitting there and he looked really thin, which was concerning to me. Um, so I started looking stuff up on different forums and websites and all they could say was that maybe he had possible impaction and he was soaking in the water to try and move it through and that maybe he wasn't eating because of impaction. Keep in mind, this was the first time I'd seen him in a while and I didn't realize like, that he wasn't eating because I would put the food in the enclosure and it would be gone by the morning. So, um, I never had any, like, leftover crickets or anything in the enclosure. I was doing, like, 12 to 15 per frog, so there were a lot of crickets in there. And there didn't seem to be anything wrong with, um, them up until this point, like I said. So, Anyway, I saw him soaking in his water bowl the 27th. The 28th, he was also soaking in his water bowl whenever I went to change the water. And then the 29th, the night, I went to go check on them while um, 
it was late so like their lights were off normally they're roaming and feeding and stuff like that by then and Speck was no longer with us and I <laughs> I very obviously cried and got upset and oop, sorry playing with an eraser while I talk about this I got upset and cried and woke up my husband <laughs> and cried and I felt like a terrible pet mom um, that one of my, my babies had passed and it just was hard for me and I stayed up pretty much all night reading different forums trying to figure out what was wrong and I've been doing that the past couple of days just trying to figure out what was wrong why all of a sudden he was skinny why he was excessively soaking and why something was wrong with him but not the other frogs not spotty and dotty because they're still fine I promise they're they're doing great and another thing that I had um why I hadn't quite done this yet is because I had filmed my clown tree frog care guide already and it's scheduled to go up already like it's ready and edited and good to go and like I've had it ready for a while I just haven't uploaded because I've had a lot going on personally um this past month and then this happened so I kind of had like a little imposter syndrome coming in where I was like oh my god but should I talk about the frogs if one of them passed away like what if I did something wrong so I just I kept redoing my research and it all said the same stuff it all said what I talk about in the video um how to care for them it, it talked about you know the correct parameters and everything and I've I'm following those parameters I just guess I got unlucky and um it happened and that's that's been something I've had to come to terms with these um past couple of days is it happens um you know animals can get sick the same way kids can get sick it doesn't mean you're doing something wrong as an owner it can just happen sometimes and that's been hard for me um to to do and I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I, as I said at the beginning, don't want to be that pet YouTuber who hides when my animals are sick or hides whenever one of them passes. Like, I'm taking accountability. I don't know what happened. If you guys could possibly tell me what happened um, or have any ideas or have had this happen with clowns in the past, I would appreciate it. I know some people are not going to be happy and say that, you know, it was completely my fault and I did something wrong. Um, but that's just something I'm going to deal with because I'm being honest with you guys. You guys choose to follow me and subscribe to my channel and watch me and listen to what I have to say. So I'm going to be honest about my reptiles and amphibians and like my cat with you. I'm not going to try and hide if one of them passes. Um... So yeah, that's what I've been dealing with the past four days now. It's been rough, but as I said, I can't find anything um, really saying other than the impaction thing, um, which even then I'm not completely sure how that could have happened because I have a pretty thick layer of sphagnum moss on the bottom of the enclosure to ensure that no um, dirt or anything can be accidentally eaten and I would always kind of um I'd try I'd put the crickets in the fridge momentarily to kind of slow them down keep them cool spend them and then I put them into like a little bowl they had it was like a little meal mealworm bowl that they had and then um dump them in there shut off the light and normally they'd go get them right as the crickets start jumping around so yeah I'm uh Sorry to bring you guys this news, but as I said, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to hide things from you guys. You choose to follow me, so I'm going to be honest with you. And um, I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support and just following me and watching me and listening to me. Um, as I said, there is a clown tree frog video coming out um, Thursday. Uh on a Thursday by the time this is done there's um a there's going to be a video about my new reptile on the 8th 
And then the um, 15th is the Clown Tree Frog video. I think at by the time I get this edited and uh, scheduled to be out, I'm going to try and get this video out um, the 11th. I'm going to try and get this video up and edited by the 11th. It will have been some time since spec passed, but I do want to um, let you guys know what happened. So, yeah, that's uh, unfortunately what this video is about, and I hope that... You know, you guys still come on and watch my Clown Tree Frog Care video. Um, I have kept my frogs since March with no problems. It has unfortunately been... I've had them for... Three full months. Um, and I didn't even talk about them the first month of owning them. To make sure that they settled in and we're doing fine so yeah the other two like I said are doing fine they'll be um I'll, I'll show pictures of them in my uh clown tree frog care video but I once again hope you guys still watch it and hope you learn something from it um it's all of my clown tree frog knowledge and research that I've done up until this point and it's all accurate from the forums and websites and everything that I've seen so far. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope not to have to do another one of these videos um, for a very long time. But I will do updates and, like I said, videos like this if one of my other animals does become sick or injured or unfortunately passes. So, I can't wait to see you guys for whatever video is next by the time this one's done and yeah hope you have a good weekend and that uh or good day good weekend good life whatever i i hope that things are going well for all of you um my subscribers so talk to you again next time bye